Hi, my name is Tendai and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making hibiscus tea or sorrel. And for this recipe, you're going to need ginger, hibiscus flowers, clove, cardamom pods, and a cinnamon stick. You're also going to need agave or date sugar or date syrup uh, or coconut sugar. Uh, this is towards the end. And also you're going to need about four organic uh, oranges um, for the citrus right at the end uh, but for the time being you need to add your ginger cinnamon cloves and cardamom pods with the hibiscus flowers to boil in hot water and you need to simmer it now the um, measurements for these are all down to personal preference I used two bags of hibiscus flowers um, a whole um, root of ginger massive one bigger than my uh, bigger than my hand so I would say about just over 150 grams of ginger. That's a lot of ginger, I know. And then, um, as you saw uh, earlier, I think about four cloves, four cardamom pods, and one cinnamon stick, four oranges, and a whole uh, bottle of agave syrup, which I'll be using right at the end with the four oranges. This flavorful and easy to make tea has got so many benefits. It's full of antioxidants, lowers blood pressure, um, may help to reduce blood fat levels, boosts liver health, promotes weight loss, and contains compounds that might help to fight cancer. And for ladies out there, if you've got bad hair or you wanna improve your hair health, it's very good for promoting hair health when you drink it um, and, and you use hibiscus as well. It's very good for hair health. Hibiscus lowers cholesterol, and if you're trying to uh, stave off cravings for sweet stuff, use hibiscus tea because it changes the taste in your mouth which stops you from craving all the bad things that you might be trying to have it's also good for digestion um, and is great for boosting your immune system it's absolutely amazing and what about your kidneys um, it helps to cleanse your kidneys and keep them healthy just like it does with your liver so i highly recommend you start taking or drinking hibiscus tea regularly as well Nutritional content of hibiscus tea, it contains vitamin C, vitamin A, and iron. Not a lot of um, minerals and vitamins, but it's got enough of what you need for your um, recommended daily intake of those uh, particular vitamins and minerals. Okay, so my sorrel tea is almost ready. Um, the sorrel has been simmering for about 45 minutes now. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna juice one orange and I'm gonna add it to the teapot and that's gonna be part of my um, um, part of my hibiscus tea. The other three oranges I'm going to juice and I'm going to add those to the sorrel much later once the actual hibiscus tea has cooled down or the hibiscus that I've made has cooled down. So I'm going to have one hot, one cold. The one I'm having hot I'm just going to add the one orange to and the cold one I'm going to add the other three oranges to. And I'm going to use a little bit of the agave inside the pot which I'm going to add uh, in a little while once I've juiced these. Um, nothing goes to waste so the pulp from the orange is actually going to go inside the pot with the rest of the hibiscus to give it that, that extra citrus zing taste um, so yeah nothing actually gets wasted uh, when I'm doing any of this I really like having um, sorrel in the summertime and hibiscus tea in the winter time so in the winter months I tend to have more of the uh, hibiscus tea so I tend to have it hot but in the summertime I prefer it cold um, back in the day when I used to drink alcohol I used to make a lot of sorrel and have it with rum white rum a bit of uh, Ray and Nephew for those of you that drink so it's, it's great for making cocktails um, depending on um, what you plan on doing with it it's actually awesome with rum white rum perfect with white rum I don't know what else you might use it for but I know with white rum it is absolutely amazing so if you look at this now this has been simmering for 45 minutes look at that that looks awesome the ginger is really infused the cardamom pod the cloves the cinnamon stick everything is infusing in and when I add this the, the um, citrus flavor from the from the orange is just going to bring it all together it is an absolutely delicious drink look at those colors I love that color it's a deep 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 dark color it is actually 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 amazing I, I can't even begin to tell you how good this drink is I highly recommend 
you try hibiscus tea if you haven't and sorrel if you if you didn't know how to make it this is how you make it now you know um so i highly recommend that you try it, especially in the winter months this the tea is awesome and if you like a cocktail or two uh, try it cold as well with with a bit of rum but i tend to suggest not to have alcohol with it so you get all the nutritional benefits out of it but for those of you that want to have alcohol i'm not going to tell you what to do <laughs> you can have it with alcohol if you do choose to have it with alcohol as I said, nothing goes to waste. A bit of the pulp is going to go in the pot. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to put that to one side. And um, we're going to proceed with adding the um, sorrel to, what should I say, the hibiscus tea to the teapot. I try and call them two different things because I call it hibiscus tea when it's hot and sorrel when it's cold. It's one and the same thing. Um, my mum probably has a ladle. I couldn't be bothered to look for it. So I'm going to use a cup to... Um, get the tea in a teapot with a strainer so um yeah here actually no i add the agave first i put too much agave by the way um this is way too much that's about two tablespoons there maybe a bit more uh, i got a bit carried away um but yeah maybe a little bit less agave it was really sweet i had to, I had to um take half out and add more into it because it was just way too sweet so yeah strain it because you don't want to be um spitting out bits of hibiscus flowers or cardamom pods or cloves or anything like that or ginger when you're drinking it you actually want it to be a nice smooth tea or sorrel with no bits in it so make sure you strain it properly um the reason why i'm straining it here and i'm not draining everything all at once i'm gonna leave it to sit in the pot with the flowers and everything as it cools down overnight and then it's gonna infuse even more as it cools so I'm, i've left it with the flowers and everything in there for it to cool down overnight so that when i when i do make my sorrel it's going to be really thick it's going to be very potent it's going to be very flavorful um because i've left it to steep over or to cool down overnight as, and all the flavors really infuse into the um, into the into the liquid into the sorrel basically um, so that it's even darker thicker redder more flavorful so yeah i'm looking for uh, i was looking forward to having a sorrel i've had it by now <laughs> this was like what last year when i made this uh as i said i was behind with my programming simply because my machine broke down i lost a lot of the um footage that i had of the actual tea in clear cups and the sorrow in, in a glass i lost i lost the footage somehow um so that's why you don't see footage of the tea in a, in a nice clear cup so you can see the color of it uh, and the glass or in a glass with the sorrel so you can see the actual color of the sorrel or the finishing of the sorrel how i made the sorrel right at the end you don't get to see that because i lost that footage but at the same time i just thought you can still see how to make it in terms of how to finish it off it's exactly the same process but when it's cold so yeah there you go look at that all the colors almost drained from the flowers and it's sort of infused with the ginger and everything else and it's look how dark that is that looks awesome absolutely awesome and i really really enjoy this i'm actually going to get some hibiscus flour so i can make some sorrel tea this weekend uh, and and some hibiscus tea so and some sorrel i'm going to do that this weekend actually Ooh.